killing me again. Good morning, guys. <coughs> Good morning, guys. It's your bro. Your bro. It's your bro, Rich Rich. Here. Uh, today in this video, um, it is now part two. on the BMW M4 so um yeah woke up so early today woke up at like oh like 4 4.30 in the morning well maybe 5 that was like 5 in the morning I woke up super early so um still feel a little bit tired but most most the mostly like mostly I'm, I'm awake so that's great <sighs> when my game to kick starts the thing fresh with water just to stay hydrated is always important especially on a, on a hot, warm, summer day. So, today, today in this video, <coughs> today in this video, um, this is now part two on the, on the BMW, BMW M, <coughs> B, BMW M4. So I'm on the, uh, today I'm going to be doing the sec second generation, the second gen M2, not M2, sorry, M4, so I'm going to talk about, so the second gen M4, the G82, G83, 2021, so, before I start, before I start, make sure you all like the video, subscribe, Comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you're alerted when I make new uploads. <sighs> Alright, so without any further ado, so without any further ado, let's begin. <clears throat> let's begin. <clears throat> so the second so the second gen so the sec second gen M4 the G82 G83 from 2021. <clears throat> Here we go. First off is overview. So let's do it. It's an overview. So let's do it. <clears throat> production. So production. <clears throat> production. So production was in 2020, and it's still in production in the present. The future is how to call it still. So overview. So production. So production. Production was from was from twenty twenty and it's still in production in the present or future as I still call it. The designer, <clears throat> designer is Anne Foshna. Anne Foshna. Body and chassis is next. The body style, two type series is a two door, two door coupe for the G eighty. It's a coupe for the G two door coupe for the G. Well, two door coupe, two door coupe, for the for the G G eighty G eighty two, 
and a pseudo convertible for the G G eighty three. So G G eighty three. <clears throat> it's related to the G eighty. So the so related to the G eighty M three. The G eighty M three. So related to the G eighty, so the G eighty M three and the G G twenty two. So G twenty two four series. <clears throat> now we got a powertrain. <clears throat> so the powertrain. Starting off with the engine. So the engine. It's a three liter. So three liter twin turbo so three liter twin turbo twin turbo <coughs> twin turbo charged so twin turbo charged S fifty eight B thirty TO straight six so there's an S fifty eight so it's three liter twin turbo charged S fifty eight S fifty S fifty eight straight six transmission two types there there is you can have it either a six speed so six speed ZF GS yeah so six speed Z ZF GS six fifty three BZ so fifty three B fifty three BZ Manual, so six speed or an eight speed ZF HP automatic. Now we got dimensions. So on dimensions next. Wheelbase, there's two, two are the same, but I'll explain why, so wheelbase, <coughs> so starting off with dimensions for the wheelbase, it's 2800, so 2857 millimeters, so 2857, so 2000, so 2800 Twenty eight twenty eight hundred and fifty seven millimeters <coughs> twenty eight hundred and fifty seven millimeters hundred and twelve point five inches that's for wheelbase length forty seven forty forty seven so length forty seven hundred and ninety four millimeters hundred and eighty eight so hundred and hundred and eighty eight Point seven inches. So length four forty seven hundred and ninety four millimeters. So forty seven hundred and ninety four millimeters, hundred and eighty eight point seven inches. That's length. Width eighteen hundred and eighty seven millimeters. So width eighteen hundred and eighty seven millimeters, seventy four point three inches. <coughs> And then the height, there's no curb weight for it. Uh, height is, um, <coughs> the height is, um, 1,394 millimeters, 54.9, round it up is like 55 inches. Now, there's also for the convertible version, and I didn't explain about the convertible. The reason why? It's because both the coupe and the convertible both have the same dimensions. Which is kind of interesting, like... I swear there could have been, like, some differences between the Cooper and the Convertible. But... Oh, well, they're the same. And it don't show the curb weight, but, like... Possibly the curb weight would be about, like, 1.6, 1.7 tons. Possibly, like, maybe 32, 3300 pounds, somewhere around there. I don't know. Maybe be more or less. Who knows. Anyway. <clears throat> the second iteration of the BMW M4, codenamed G80, G82, 
So G G <coughs> G eighty two is largely largely based on the is largely largely <coughs> can't talk largely largely based on the standard four series. The G twenty two G G twenty two generation which was which was previewed by the BMW Concept Four. It's a high performance version of the standard. So it's a high performance version of the standard G twenty two four series. Prototypes of the BMW M four have been set, will have been seen tested on the Nurburgring Green March level beside the G eighty, G eighty. So the G eighty M three. The first units were assembled in November twenty twenty. November twenty twenty, with global deliveries starting in early starting in early twenty twenty one. The more notable of the more the more notable upgrades for the G eighty two M for the G eighty two M four is a forty seven horsepower increase over the previous M four, as well as on top as well as adopting the twin Kinect wheels from the four series. The convertible version, the convertible version of the new, so the convertible version of the new M4 was introduced in May twenty twenty one. Like the stand, like the standard new gen BMW four series, four series convertible. The M4 M4 convertible. Internal designation G. Internal designation G G eighty three has a folding folding soft top. It normally opens and closes, so opens and closes in uh, eighteen seconds at speeds up to fifty at speeds up to fifty kilometers an hour. <coughs> thirty one so thirty one miles an hour. The convertible is available as a the convertible so the con the convertible. The convertible is available as a competition, as a competition model, with the MX Drive. Top speed is electronically limited to 230 kilometers an hour, 155 miles an hour. But with the optional M Drivers package, it can increase to 280, 280 kilometers an hour, 180. 174 uh, miles an hour. As for acceleration, um, zero to sixty, zero to sixty, it's three point six seconds. For the North American market, only the manual. For the North American market, only the manual. So manual will be available. So will be available in the standard standard M4. While the competition version only is available with an automatic gearbox. For the Thailand market, so for the Thailand market, the manual will be, the manual will be available, available in the standard M4. An automatic will be available in the M4 competition. They will be imported from Germany. For the Philippine market, only the, for the Philippine market, only the, auto. Only the automatic, so automatic will be available in the M4 competition. So in the M4 competition. Sp speaking of the M4 competition, we're on it now. At launch, <coughs> at, at launch in um, at launch in the, uh, at launch in 2020, the M4 competition model was unveiled alongside the standard M4 model. Compared to the standard M4, the M4 competition increases power output by 30 horsepower, so 30 horsepower to a total of 500, 503 horsepower. So 503 horsepower, and torque is increased by 100, and torque is increased by 100 newton meters. <coughs> 74, 74 pound feet to 650 newton meters. 479, we'll round it up to 480 newton meters, and it's offered, offered exclusively, so exclusively with an 8-speed M-Steptronic 
sports automatic gearbox. The M4 competition also, so the M4 competition, so the M4 competition also features a separate transmission oil cooler, black chrome exhaust tips, forged M light alloy, M light alloy wheels, automatic brake hold function, and high gloss black mirrors. <clears throat> Next up is the X drive version. Competition models <clears throat> equipped with X drive are significantly faster from 60, so quicker from 60 when compared to rear wheel drive models. So breaking in at like at just 2.8 seconds as compared to 3.6 seconds for rear wheel drive, so 0.8, almost one second faster than the rear than the rear wheel drive version. So as compared to 3.3.6 for rear wheel drive. Now we got M performance parts. M performance parts can be fitted to all models. These include the wing, carbon fiber side skirts, and perform. M performance exhaust system, Canards carbon fiber splitter, carbon fiber diffuser, and rear ground effects. The M performance current <coughs> the M performance currently released one set of design style that has been produced for many different factories produced by many different factories. Both the G eighty so both the G eighty and G80, G80 and G82 M, so G80 and G82 M3, M4, so M4 are the only G class M, so oh, G chassis, like G, so G chassis M available, so available with M performance design. Now we got special editions. Starting off with the M M4 X Keith, so or Keith edition. I can't pronounce it, but it's spelled. Well, I can't really say it, but it's spelled K I T H. In October 2020, BMW released their collaboration with collaboration with Keith, a lifestyle brand centered around fashion. Around fashion for the G82 uh, generation, G82 Gen M4. The car has been named BMW M4 by Kith. Production was limited to only 150 units worldwide, and they have and they have a slight, slight premium over the basic form 2021 M4. Slight differences are noticed on the seats with a specific coloration with Kith embossed multiple times on the headrest, creating creating a specific pattern. So specific pattern. The carbon fiber the carbon roof has the Kith logo. Exterior wise, the car is full matte black, silver and white. Next up we got is my favorite one, the M4 CSL. <clears throat> At the 2017 Frankfurt Auto Show, head of BMW, head of BMW's M division, Frank Frank Van Neel. So last name is spelled M M E E L. So M E E L announced that the CSL nameplate would be making a return. That's great. Replacing the GTS in the performance model nicknames on May 4th of 2022. <clears throat> so it was two years ago, BMW announced that the M4 CSL would that the M4 CSL would debut at the 20 would debut at the 2022 Concorso de Eleganza Villa Deste. Which is in, in at at the town of 
Cer uh, Cernobyl in the province of Como in Como Lombardy, northern Italy. So northern Italy. Santa Terry came to Concorso della Danza Villa d'Este. Changes include significant weight reduction of around 200 pounds. 91 kilos. For 91 kilos, that's pretty good. So 91 kilos. So 90, 91, ki 91 kilos. 200 pounds. Hence the CSO name, which stands for Coupe. Coupe Sport Leichtball, which is lightweight. Lightweight Sport Coupe. But that's LSC, so if it's CSL, then it'd be Coop Sport Lightweight. Anyways, a large front of carbon fiber. So, carbon fiber <coughs> front splitter, a ducktail rear wing, more horsepower, so more horsepower, 543 horsepower. So, like one horsepower more than an early 2010 R35 GTR. Only a thousand units were made. Now we got <clears throat> the next one, which is the three liter CSL. So three liter CSL, which is kind of like an homage kind of car, like to the old like kind of Batmobile. I'd say I don't know. So yeah, three liter CSL. <clears throat> On November November twenty November twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. Sorry, twenty twenty two. That was when I was still in college. Yeah, November November twenty fourth, twenty twenty two, BMW revealed revealed its all new BMW three liter three liter CSL with a more powerful so powerful three liter three liter straight six engine, which generates a power of five hundred and fifty three horsepower. So five hundred and fifty three pound. So five hundred and fifty. 553 horsepower and 550 newton meters 400 and so 550 uh, newton meters 406 pound feet of torque the same as an f82 m4 so yeah same number in torque bmw so bmw is celebrating bmw's bmw m's 50th anniversary so on the occasion of M's 50th anniversary, the new 3 liter, three liter CSL will be produced in only 50 units. All CSL cars were fully handmade at the BMW at the so all CSL cars were fully handmade at the BM or handcrafted at the BMW Stuttgart Stuttgart plant. <coughs> now we got next the next one which is the BMW BMW M50 uh, Jare in Europe and other in Europe and other selected sales regions. So in, in Europe, in Europe and other and other selected sales regions. BMW BMW M GmbH is offering the M4 edition. M4 edition 15 Jare BMW M4 or BMW M to mark its anniversary. The exclusive two door coupe came in the uh, BMW individual exterior colors carbon black. So carbon black, so carbon black, Macau blue, Brands Hatch gray, Imola red, and San Marino. San, San Marino. San Marino, S San Marino blue. The production number was limited to a total of seven hundred units for the M4 and five hundred units for the M3, making a total of twelve hundred combined. Fixed with nineteen-inch M4 wheels on the front <coughs> axle and twenty-inch wheels on the rear axle, featuring a double double spoke design, which are being offered for the first time in the colors. Orbit gray matte and gold bronze matte. 
In addition, a similarly limited number of emission cars of the BMW M4 Coupe are being produced for the Chinese automotive market and available in the exterior paint finishes Fire Orange and Stratos Grey. This color selection relates to the fact that fact that the anniversary of BM that the anniversary of BMW M GmbH is be, being celebrated in China in the year of the tiger. The M forged wheels on the the M forged wheels on uh, so the M forged wheels on these cars are finished in are finished in matte matte orbit gray. <coughs> so matte orbit gray in conjunction with the fire orange body color and a matte matte gold bronze in conjunction with the Stratus gray exterior exterior paint finish for the 50 50 Jade edition cars based on the BMW M4 coupe door sill panels are being the, are bearing the lettering edition 50 Jade BMW M a metal plaque on the, a metal plaque on the center console with the lettering M4 edition 50 so M4 edition 50 Jade BMW M so BMW M and a corresponding imprint on the headrests of the standard of the standard <coughs> standard M Sport M Sport seats and the optional M carbon bucket seats for both the driver and front passenger. Alright, next up we got is the um the G eighty two G eighty three M four specs. So we got one, two, we got six versions of these cars. Starting off with the first one, which is on sale in March, so March uh, 2021, with an M4, <clears throat> 473 horsepower, 550 newton meters, 406 pound feet. 1674 kilos, 3600 and 3600 and so 3600 and 91 pounds, six speed manual. Um, um, 250 kilometers an hour, 155 limited. They got 290 kilometers an hour, 180 miles an hour with M drivers package. And rear wheel drive. Now we got the same time of year, March 2021, another M4, but it's a competition version. So it has 500 and so 503 horsepower, 650 newton meters. So 650 newton meters. 479 or 480 pound feet, approximately 1700 kilos, approximately 3700 3700 pounds. So the first two are rear wheel drive, same same speed, same package. Then we got from August from August 2021. <coughs> The M4, same M4 competition, but it's the X Drive version, so it has all wheel drive. So, X Drive version. Same power and torque, but curb weight is 1770, 1775 kilos, 3900, so 3913 pounds. So, an extra 75 kilos. <coughs> 213 pounds more because of the all-wheel drive system. Same top speed limited and with the M drivers package. But this time it's all-wheel drive. So it gives it a bit of an advantage. Next up is from November 2021. Damn for competition. We got the convertible version of the M4 Competition X-Drive 
Same power and torque, but it's a little bit lighter, 1760 kilos. <clears throat> 3880 3, pounds, which is 15 kilos, 33 pounds lighter. Than the hardtop version or the cube cube version. So same top speed and uh, a little bit there, but this time with the M drivers package, it's a little bit decreased to one seventy four. So two hundred and eighty kilometers an hour, one hundred and seventy four miles an hour. It's four wheel drive. <clears throat> and now we got. The next one, which is which was from June 2022, <clears throat> the most powerful version of this car. Well, almost. It's the M4 CSL, which has 500 and 543 horsepower, so an extra 40 more horsepower. Same torque, but this time it's a little. This time it's a lot lighter. <clears throat> By which is. <clears throat> It's a lot lighter by a hundred by a whopping hundred and thirty hundred and thirty five hundred and thirty five kilos two hundred and ninety seven well, almost three hundred pounds lighter so an m four CSL from June, June 2022, M4 CSL, 500 and 543 horsepower, same amount of torque, 1625 kilos, 3583 pounds, 8 speed auto, this time has a higher top speed, so higher top speed of 307 kilometers an hour. So 307 kilometers an hour, which is 191 miles an hour. It's pretty cool, but a little bit different. But a little bit of a disadvantage to put that out is rear wheel drive. And next one we got is the three liter. Is the three liter CSL? Year is unknown. But what we do know is that it makes an extra 10 more horsepower, so 553 horsepower. But a lot less torque by a hundred newton meters. Seventy-three pound feet less, so up to five hundred and fifty newton meters. So five hundred and five hundred and fifty newton meters, four hundred and six uh, pound feet, the same as um an M four F eighty two and F eighty M three. Curb weight is exactly the same. This one has a six p six p nine o, it's a six p nine o, and it's and it's rear wheel drive, <coughs> rear wheel drive. Okay, and the last part, last but certainly not the very least of this car, is motorsport. So let's finish this. <coughs> First off is the M four DTM version. <coughs> so DTM. The naturally aspirated, naturally aspirated, um, M. So the naturally aspirated so on the M4 DTM, so DTM. The naturally aspirated M4, the naturally aspirated M4 DTM, competed in the Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters. That's what DTM stands for, Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters. Or Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters <clears throat> from twenty from twenty fourteen to twenty eighteen. Marco Whitman, born November twenty fourth, nineteen eighty nine, who is a German professional racing driver and BMW BMW Motorsports works driver. And a naturally aspirated M4 DTM competed, competed 
In the 32 Wooden Rocket Masters from 2014 to 2018, Marco Whitman won both the 2014 and 2016 championships. Next up, we got the M4 GT4. The M4, the M4 GT4. <coughs> the M4 GT4 is a competition version of the road car sharing the 3 liter turbocharged, 3 liter uh, turbo straight six and 7 speed dual clutch. Reuse of 3 elements of the road car. Sorry, reuse of three elements of the road car and of sharing or, or shared electronics systems, including the TCS traction control system, are aimed at cost, maintenance, and drivability with further race engineering reused for the GT3 version. Chassis are homologated, un chassis are, are homologated under the SOR GT4 category aimed at amateur drivers with the engine trimmed to 425 horsepower in line with the balance of regulation balance balance of regulation oh, not regulation sorry balance of performance regulation sorry the car debuted at the 2017 24 hours of Nurburgring green launch level next up is the gt3 <coughs> the m4 gt3 so the the m4 gt3 is a race car version of the G82 M4. Let's read the last part. Homologated under the um, under the FIA Group GT3, so Group GT3 cate category, which also enables entry to SOR, IMSA, and AD and ADAC competition. It's intended to be a successor to the M6 GT3, racing for the <coughs> 2022 the 2022 season. So 2022 season, the M4 M4 GT so the M4 M4 GT3 will use a race a race prepped variant of the straight six from the road car. Features changed from the road going version off to or off the car include include widened fenders and bodywork, more angular style for the hood, exhaust exits just after the passenger side, front wheel on the right side of the car, inlets on the sides of the wider rear fenders, and a gooseneck mounted wing and rear, dif rear diffuser manage manage the airflow. Additionally, the steering wheel, the steering wheel can be used in racing simulators without mods, so without any modifications, just as it is. Delivery started in delivery started in late delivery started in late 2021. An Evo, so Evolution version of the M4 M4 GT3, so M4 G, GT3, was announced at the 24 hours, so at the 2024. Nurburgring, North Sleffer, 24 hours, with the car featuring new side mirrors, new headlights, new taillights, and larger air inlets or air intakes, while also being, <coughs> while also, while also being both more reliable, so more reliable, more reliable, and easier to drive, so easier to drive. <sighs> All right. And that is it, guys. So for my next video, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I'll think of something what I can do. All right. So that is it. So if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you are alerted of when I make new uploads. All right. So that'll be it. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys soon in the next in the next video. So I'll see you guys soon in the next video. But until then, stay safe. Have a great morning. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, folks. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, folks. Bye bye.